Hello everybody, welcome to the Train Trades Productions. Today, uh, I figured we were here in Saluda, North Carolina. So, we'll talk about the M102 howitzer they have on display here. It is a 105mm howitzer, 17.1 feet long, 6.4 feet wide, 5.2 feet high, 3,004 pounds, and entered service in 1964. Now, this howitzer was used, obviously, around 1964, because that's when it went in service. Now, a lot of the stuff on this exact howitzer here is missing. This is the hitch, because it was a towed howitzer. So, that's what you would hook up to the vehicles that pulled it. And in here, there used to be a wheel, a like a wheel kind of thing, just a big wheel that would turn it. You can see right here, that's the shaft. The shaft has been disconnected, sadly. So, but this part here, guys, still spins. I'm gonna lay my phone down right here and you can still spin the piece that it was used for. So, you guys can see it spin. So, that is the, that is for the back wheel. That's the drive shaft, I guess you could say. And now this is the wheel that would spin it. Used to have a handle here, but it's been taken off. You can still spin it though. And you can hear on the inside, I'm gonna put my phone down on it and you guys might can hear it some. Maybe hear it better right here. So yeah, that's the wheel that would move the back wheel to cause the howitzer to spin. Now up here is the gun barrel itself, 105 millimeter. Um, I don't know what specific kind of recoil system this used. I'd say it's probably hydraulic recoil system. Um, not sure. That is the plate that would go on the ground and cause it from going too far back when it's shot. Um, these are the springs that would lift it up when you turn the wheel that we're going to now. Now here's the barrel. Barrel is very big. Specifically, just a little bit bigger than my fist. That is how big the 105 millimeter um, gun was. Also guys, right fast, check out that old car that just went through. But back to the howitzer. This is a very big, gun um now right here you have your brake for the wheel or at least i believe it's the brake you can still move it but it's been pretty much disconnected so it doesn't actually serve any purpose on the big tires now over here this is where you would have lifted it up it would have spun that but it's been disconnected so as you can see i'm spinning it now it's not moving anything, but you, it still has the handle to where you can spin it. So, specifically, they would have spun it as fast as they could, pretty much like this, to lift it. So, that's all for the outside. Now we're going to step on the inside of it. Right here, it would have been your ammo storage box, as you can see. It has been welded shut, so you cannot actually open it. I've already tried it. You may still can. I don't think so, though. But there's not really anything in it. Um, now, right here is where your block and breach is. This is the block. This is the breach. This big thing right here. So what they would do, this is where they would load it. They would grab this. It's been welded, so you can't do anything. They would pull it back. This block here would go down. And then you would take it around. Load it in through there. And then you would push this back forward, which would shut the block. And then you're ready to fire. Now, when you fire it, you're going to step outside because when it fires, the breach will come back roughly this far. And it will still move somewhat. Now, since this is a smaller caliber howitzer, it's not going to go back that that far. But it'll come back roughly this far. And... This right here is your trigger system, I guess you would say. You put a string around this, then around this, 
and you would stand about right here and then you would pull the string setting the firing pin off causing it to fire um so this is pretty much your hammer um now the barrel inside of here is not actually welded shut you can kind of see inside of it right there but not really it's um kind of hard to see in there but yeah so there's your plate builder's plate but that's all i was just gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour of the m102 105 millimeter tow howitzer see you guys in the next one goodbye